What's going on all my YouTube buddies? It's me Jacob. I am joined with my sister Jamie and we're on another movie vlog trip. Yes, we're about to go to the movie theater and see Alita Battle Angel directed by Robert Rodriguez, the same guy that brought you acclaimed masterpieces such as Spy Kids and Sin City. Very strange that he did both. Yep. And produced by James Cameron, the mastermind behind so many great films. Uh, Terminator 1 and 2, Aliens, The Abyss, True Lies, Titanic, Avatar. I mean, Avatar is not a masterpiece. Visually, that movie's really amazing. Yeah, I think we need to see Avatar again. Yeah, I mean, Avatar's got like, what, five sequels coming out in the next few years that are being yeah. shot back to back to back to back to back to back. They better do well. I hope so. <laughs> now, I talked to Disney property. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, that too because of the Disney-Fox merger. Makes sense because there's an Avatar theme park at Disney World. Yeah, I think it's in that Animal Kingdom section. Yeah. I hadn't been there. I heard it's neat though. Uh, of course, we went to Disney World one time, but that was before it was even developed. But Disney World is like the best place ever. Yeah, I think we need to go back. Ah, uh, it's a, there's a reason. It's called the happiest place on earth. Mhm. Mm so anyway, Alita Battle Angel is based on an anime. Manga, which is like a Japanese comic book or something. I know nothing about this Me property, either. so well, we can't. Fascinating, it, yeah, but, anime is yeah. cool, but uh, we're not like big on it. Although I have seen some anime that is good. I'm like, I'm I'm really big on Studio Ghibli, mm -hmm. but I'm still not the best experienced with anime, so I can't say, oh. I, I know who this is. I, I I can't name you any anime director outside of Miyazaki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and I, I, uh, Hollywood's been adapting a lot of animes in more recent years. I mean, they did Ghost in the Shell a few years back. Yeah. And previous attempts at bomb Ghost in the Shell didn't go over well. Uh, neither did. Of course, they also did the Dragon Ball live action film. That movie is embarrassing. And I'm not a big Dragon Ball guy, but I know that movie was something about the movie. And that abomination up. Avatar the Last Airbender. Ugh. That's, not, him that's not really an anime. Well, it's, it's an anime series. It, it's it's styled like an anime, but it's not an anime. Cause it was because that show was made here in the US. An anime is in Japan. Yeah, well, yeah, somewhere in anime, but not really. Anime. But it, it was inspired by a lot of anime, so I don't know if it. Yeah, a lot of uh, Japanese stuff. Yeah, there there's a lot of anime influences on that show, and in the Legend of Korra. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're like I said, we're not familiar with a lot of anime, but Alita Battle Angel at actually was a surprise hit it was projected to be this massive bomb and it would lose like 200 million dollars at the box office on its opening weekend but no it's opening weekend it was like i think it was the number one movie yeah people, people, well now 50 shades of gray actually never underestimate james cameron everybody thought titanic was gonna bomb because of you know, it being over budget and everything that made over a billion dollars yeah Woo. avatar everybody thought was gonna bomb that made like two billion dollars okay, we, so we, we might see that movie yeah i don't think alita's gonna make a billion dollars but the fact that the movie is still doing good when a lot of insiders thought it would be one of the biggest bombs of the year that says something. Uh, a lot of people uh, had high hopes for this film, and for a lot of them, it delivered. I think I think the overall consensus on the critics' side is that the, some of the storytelling aspects are a mixed bag, but the visuals I've heard are outstanding. I wanted to see this film in 3D, but we don't have a lot of 3D showings in a lot of our areas. Being, yeah. in, being in the middle of Virginia... <laughs> Yeah, we're still going to see the film, and I'm sure the film's still going to look great even in standard 2D. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
actually it's kind of fun watching it film in 2D even when it's filmed in 3D cuz you, you it'll show even clear whether the 3D was worth it or not uh, whether it's the 3D that immerses you into the world or it's that flashy, obnoxious 3D. If you saw my Spy Kids 3D video, you know what I'm talking about, where it's like all in your face, it's like... Okay, 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 we get it. <laughs> Do you have any expectations on the film? Well, I was kind of excited about this for a while. It was going to come out last year, but it got moved. Yeah, it got moved several times. Uh, yeah, competition. Well, yeah, one was to avoid competition. Two, they were making sure they were getting the visuals right. Because uh, people saw that first trailer, and like, oh, what's with those eyes? They're freaky. But... Yeah, this eyes didn't burn me. But now they've... Uh, but now people came out like, oh, the eyes aren't that bad. But... Yeah, uh, I think if Alita came out in that December season against yeah, Bum Bumblebee shuffle. and Spider-Verse, Mary, Mary Poppins, Poppins. Uh, Aquaman, it would have bombed like Mortal Engines did. But yeah, we're super excited to see this film. I don't have any like huge things I want to see because like I said, I'm not familiar with the anime. I just want to see a visually stunning epic yeah. and i hope it delivers so, so do I. that's the main thing hope it delivers yep okay so we're about to go see alita battle angel and we're gonna reveal our first reactions to it in a couple hours we just finished seeing alita battle mm -hmm. angel wow <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you look funny at me <laughs> oh what do you think? Well, it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, we don't know anything about the source material. I've heard it did a, it, it faithfully adapted the material very well. Uh, this was something James Cameron had wanted to make for years. He bought the rights back in the 90s. Oh, man. And it took him this long uh, to get the, you know, the movie made. May, mainly due to the, the complex technology and stuff. Mm -hmm. The only reason he didn't direct Alita was because of his commitment to Avatar. Oh, okay. And those sequels. So, But yeah, he still produced the film and Robert Rodriguez was given the director's chair. Which is weird to me. The director of Spy Kids doing something big like Alita. You know, I've seen quite a few of Rodriguez's yeah, films. Spy Kids. Spy Kids, Sin City, uh, From Dusk Dawn. He's known for very low budgets. Mm -hmm. If you, I mean, you, you see some of the Spy Kids movies, and the effects aren't really that great in those. Mm -hmm. Then you watch Alita, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> okay, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's crazy. I don't think I was channeling Schwarzenegger. Well, you kind of were. <laughs> but, man, the effects. Whew. I mean, uh, Alita is this artificial intelligence cyborg character. She looked like a real person. Yeah, with big ass. But not creepy big eyes. I love the, the eyes were pretty cool to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, that actress was really good. Her name's uh, Rosa Salazar. I haven't really seen her in anything else, but yeah. she's good. I think she has a career ahead of her. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but yeah, a pretty solid cast in Alita. Christoph Waltz is the doctor who finds. Alita in a scrapyard restores her and becomes the big. Yeah, raising her as his own. Raises her as his own. She becomes the big battle angel. Yeah. Right. And that's like the short cliff note synopsis of the movie without going into heavy spoilers. Uh, we also have Jennifer Connelly in the film, yeah. which is weird. Every time I see Jennifer Connelly in a movie, I get labyrinth vibes. I want to, mm -hmm. I want to go dance, magic dance. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's what I'm used to seeing Jennifer Connelly in. 
And then Mahershala Ali is the big bad guy. Yeah, I, considering how great of an actor he is, like I, I'm gonna say right now, like my least favorite part of the movie is probably the the villainous side of the film, and they did they don't really do much with uh, Ali's character. Great presence in the film, yep. but I, I didn't really get much out of him. He just seemed kind of one dimensional, but. I think that there's other criticisms I've heard on the film. A lot of people didn't really like the romance Alita has in the film, and I don't know what you thought of the romance. Yeah, I, I, thought I, thought, a, I yeah. thought I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Not the best romance I've seen, but I thought the characters were developed nicely. They both had solid chemistry with one another, and I thought it worked for the story. Uh, going back to the people working behind the scenes. Even though Robert Rodriguez is the credit director from, it feels more like a James Cameron film to me. Yeah. Especially considering how extensive the visuals are and the attention to details. Although there are some action sequences that does have that Robert Rodriguez stamp. There's this one bar fight sequence oh, where I'm like, yeah. yep, this is From Dusk Till Dawn, set in the future. Mm -hmm. Have you seen From Dusk Till Dawn? No. That, well, I cut the beginning of it. Okay, you saw the Quentin Tarantino styled part of the film. They go to a strip club in the second half of the film and it takes a crazy turn from there. And I'm not going to ruin it because it gets crazy once they go there. Okay. Hey, I think I've intrigued you. It's on Netflix. You got Netflix? Yeah, no. You should check it out. Well, it depends on my schedule, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She has a crazier schedule than I do. Uh, okay. It's crazy. There's this, like, racing competition sport in the film. For some reason, I got Spy Kids 3 vibes watching that. Yeah, but, I but, but, that motorcycle race scene. It's like Spy Kids 3, but the effects are better. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, acid. <laughs> Which is weird, because if you saw my Spy Kids 3 video, uh, yeah, the girl... The, the little girl in the film, yeah. the, the, I think her name's Demetra in the film, mm -hmm. bears a striking resemblance to Alita. Foreshadowing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I, I know it's a different actress, but I think we're a part of the Robert Rodriguez cinematic universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 they all love those cinematic universe because Marvel's doing it well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Marvel. I am too. Okay. Take that, trolls. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's talk about Alita for a second. I, like I said, I love that character. I liked yeah. the way she was developed as a character. You don't know anything about her starting out, and she learned. She learns more about her past just as we're figuring it out. And I really like this character. De definitely joins the ranking of well-written female characters in James Cameron's library, along with Ripley in Aliens and Sarah Connor in Terminator. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the stop Sarah Connor. No. She's still a cool character. I, yeah. I, I do like I do like where that character goes. Even though we didn't see the film in 3D, like I said, the visuals still really popped. Yeah. I think the 3D probably would have enhanced it. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem very flash. Like, ooh, see, it's a 3D! Okay, you're driving the car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I really enjoyed where the movie went. The movie doesn't completely finish its narrative, though, and I think for some people, that's can be an annoyance because the movie completely relies on hooking you in so that a sequel can be made yeah because yeah there's definitely a cliffhanger in there, mm -hmm. uh, there there's still some conclusions for the most part to the story but it's there's still there's still some ambiguity to the ending of the film right yeah there, there's it's not finished yet there's a cameo at the end I really liked. Oh, We're not going to spoil it, yeah. but when I saw it, I'm like, is that who I think it is? And mm -hmm. and in that regards, yes. I hope the sequel does get made. Yeah. Which it, it's... 
I'm not a fan of movies that do sequel baits, especially if there's no guarantee if the movie's going to do well or not, but Alita's a surprise hit, so I'm sure the sequel's going to get made now. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I, I'm really excited where it's going to go. Um, I wonder if James Cameron's going to work on Alita movies along with the Avatar films. He, he, yeah, he probably will. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's back in the Terminator franchise now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I am intrigued by Terminator 6. I did not see the Terminator 3, 4, and 5, but Cameron's disowned those films, so I guess I could care less about seeing them. Yeah. Maybe as a curiosity, but... I like that Cameron's producing that. I like that we're bring, they're bringing uh, Sarah Connor back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the original Sarah Connor. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, Where's she been? Yeah, apparently she hadn't been in a film since two. So, I, even if the movie's still terrible, it'll probably still be worth a watch just to see her return to the big screen yeah. mm -hmm. as Sarah Connor. Uh, let's wrap this up. Did you have anything against Alita? Um, no. N nothing major. No. Nothing major. You, you really enjoyed the film. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Visual. Except for some tired spells, which, yeah, that was just me. Yeah. Again, we're newbies to Alita, so yeah. a lot of the world building, it, it, it's hard to take in. They, they mm -hmm. say some things. I think some aspects you have to know the source material. But I think, I think we both caught up really quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could tell there wasn't any studio interference this time, like in the Warcraft film. Which, the Warcraft film was so confusing. And I blame the studio interference for that. Because there's so many obvious cuts in that film. And you didn't see Warcraft, uh -uh. did you? It's from... It's Duncan Jones directed that film. David Bowie's son. Jennifer Connelly. What a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I, I liked the world building of Alita. Visuals are outstanding. Good cast for the most part. And th there's a good little mix between the talents of Robert Rodriguez and James Cameron. Probably more so James Cameron. There's, uh, you definitely see all the layers of James Cameron in this film. The attention to detail in his craft. The extensive visuals that was seen... Yeah, you know, like an avatar yeah. to some enriching drama. Like there's one moment in the film where I'm like, Oh, that's a good little Titanic call back there. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously I'm not spoiling where that goes, but you'll know it when you see it. Mm -hmm. All right. Like I said, the only real thing I had against the film, like, like I said, I think the villain was a little one-dimensional, even with Mahershala Ali giving it his all. But I still had a blast watching this film on a technical level, and I did enjoy the characters for the most part, especially Alita. So, Jamie, what are you rating Alita Battle Angel? I would give it a four and a half out of five. Yeah, you really like this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it the same rating, uh, four and a half out of five. It actually might bump up if the sequels come out and they're really good. But for now, four and a half uh, is a great rating for something like Alita. And on the 100 point scale, I am giving it an 84. All right, so that was our vlog video on Alita Battle Angel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've seen the film, let us know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are on the movie, please be respectful and considerate of others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and click the little bell next to it to be notified of future videos. Have some more videos coming for you soon. Uh, going into March, uh, I guess some vlog videos we'll probably try to see. I think the three we'll try to see as far as new releases. Captain Marvel, Us, and Dumbo at least. Anything else, I guess, depends on time. Yeah. You, 
I, I don't have the time to go see every single movie in theaters. If, if I did have the time, I'd be rich and I wouldn't have a part-time job. Yeah. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.